Well, this is Leo Claudia with Malice to it, and we have as our guest tonight here at Jack Dempsey's restaurant in New York City, one of the greatest heavyweight boxers in the history of the game. Fellow who won the championship from Jess Willard in 1919 in Toledo, Ohio. And I'd like to welcome at this time to our show the incomparable, inimitable Jack Dempsey. Jack, what is the greatest fight you've ever had? Well, I think one of the greatest fights I ever fought was with Jack Sharkey. Sharkey was a great fighter, and I think I was pretty lucky to lick him. And I think the reason I did lick him, of course, everything goes in the fight, and you're supposed to win. He turned to the referee and said I was hitting him low, and when his head was turned, I hit him. I knocked him out. <laughs> Is that how you did it? That's right, but that's, that's part of the business. I mean, you take advantage of everything you can, as long as it's fair. Jack, there are tricks in boxing like any other game out there. That's right. You've got to find out whether it's according to the man you're fighting. Some men fight in close good. Sometimes they fight for their way. And sometimes they got a good left hand. Sometimes they got a good right hand. Sometimes they take it in the stomach. Sometimes they take it on the chin. You've got to find what is a man's weakness has, then you go for that. That's true. Jack, uh, who was probably the fighter who gave you the greatest, the most trouble in your career? Well, I think it was Jack Sharkey. It's still a shark. Still a shark, yeah. Is that so? And how long did he last? Well, I think that fight went to uh, four rounds. Is that so? And in those four rounds, he gave you a tremendous fight? Oh, yes. He was ahead of me way out on points and had me knocked out three, four times. In other words, I was stunned in the fight, but he didn't knock me out. I was still able to punch and go along and finally knock him out. Jack, I don't know whether you know it or not, but he's living in New Hampshire now, in Epping, New Hampshire, in a little town. Yes, I know. And he's doing a good job. He's a very fine person. Yes, well, I I had the pleasure of interviewing him recently, and he thinks a great deal of you. And he says that the greatest fight he ever fought, he thought, was with you also. Well, that's right. Jack's a very fine person. Jack, did you lose the title the first time to Gene Tunney? Yes, that was the first time. I lost it in Philadelphia the first you... time. Then I came back in Chicago and lost it again. Well, you lost it. You won it, but then lost it. I mean, you had it. If, if I remember correctly, I was following boxing quite close at the time. There was a long count of 16 because you didn't return to your neutral corner. Am I right? That's right. Well, it was my own fault. I stood there. I was in hopes that Gene wouldn't get up. I was thinking <laughs> maybe he'd get another fight and get a million-dollar gate. But unfortunately, the referee... Uh, didn't count till I got back to the other corner and it spoiled the whole thing for all of us. But anyway, it, was, it worked out all right. Jack, at the end of 10, did you have him on the floor? No, I think he had me on the floor at the 10th round. I think I was knocked down the 10th yeah. round. No, I mean, when you had him for the 16 count, uh, when they counted up to 10, did you did you have him on the floor then? Oh, yes, he was in his corner. He couldn't he couldn't have got up. And, of course, I've talked to Gene several times, and I believe what he said. He said he could have gotten up. He heard the count after about the count of four. But if he had gotten up at that time, maybe I'd have had a better chance That's knocking right. him out. He probably would have been woozy and you'd have finished him up. That's right. Jack, and yet, you know, if if it hadn't been for that long count and the disputed uh, long count and the controversy see, that developed over it, people probably would remember that fight as well as they do because of the long count. That's correct. I mean, they like to remember those things, especially the people saw that. They said, well, I saw that fight in Chicago, the long count, and this and that, and it gives them something to remember the fight game. And that's true. Now, this was an interview with Jack Dempsey, the former world heavyweight boxing champion and one of the greatest the game has ever known. This is Jack Dempsey's restaurant in New York City, and this brings us to the end of With Malice to it, none for today. Until tomorrow at this same time, Leo Claudia, good day. Mm-hmm.